Bruce, how are you? My very best buddy, my old pal. Hi there, Brucey. <laughs> What's it been? I don't know, three weeks. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, last time I laid eyes on you, must have been... Oh yeah, you didn't believe me when I told you I killed those agents in self-defense. <laughs> it really cleared something up for me, because friends trust each other. So, I guess we know what you aren't. Harley and I have the virus, and if we're anything, we're sharers. It's just too fun to keep to ourselves. So picture how it hit you when you lost those few dozen people on the bridge. Now think about all of Gotham. Maybe then you'll know what it feels like when a friendship dies. Batman, over here. What happened? I... You need to see it. He's down that way. We're trying to help him, but... That's familiar. managed to save him from bleeding out. Uh, oh, the clouds. We think it's some kind of booby trap. Until we get someone here with an x-ray, we can't risk moving him. Let me see what I can find. <sighs> Dilated pupils. Signs of head trauma. <sighs> can you tell me what happened? I don't know. My stomach, it hurts like hell. Some kind of device. Pacemaker. Shrapnel. It's an old wound. Get these people back. It could be a bomb. We need to clear the area! Back up! Oh, oh God! Oh God! Oh God, no! Jesus! It's safe to cut him down. We're past the sick punchline.
Guess this is the world we live in now. Turns your stomach. Jim. Uh, I can't remember the last time I was on this side of a police line. Waller canned me, in case you hadn't heard. Right in front of that lowlife Wayne. Maybe I shouldn't have asked you to do my job for me. She overstepped. You shouldn't have been fired. You ain't kidding. She's bad for this city. A disease. And we're all infected. Vitals are dropping! <laughs> Easy now. Don't move. Oh, Jesus. Now this time off, it's given me some time to think. Back in the day, it was only the gangsters you had to worry about. Now, cops are cut open and filled with carnival toys. Makes you wonder. How'd we get here? I look around, the streets are the same. The only real difference is Batman. You know, I hate saying it, but do you think that we only saw this kind of thing after you showed up? Yeah, you brought in a lot of good collars, so I hope it's not the case, but maybe Batman's made Gotham more dangerous. You're right, Jim. Hard to argue when you look at Bullock. With me as Gotham's guardian, criminals have to adapt or perish. Maybe I underestimated their resilience. Maybe. Takes guts to admit it, though. Hey, uh, I shouldn't have come down on you so hard about arresting Wayne. Yeah, maybe next time we go at it side by side, huh? Batman, Bullock's asking for you. I tracked a stolen van full of clowns. So I followed to see what they were doing. That was brave, Detective. You did good work. Thanks. Oh, wish I'd stayed home, though. They picked up a drop. Was John Doe with them? They left a box. Oh, goddamn freaks. <laughs> No sign of explosives. Should be safe to open. Automatic weapons. They're heavily armed. Authorized by Wayne Enterprises. And signed for by... Chairwoman Regina Sellerbach. Regina can't come to the phone right now. This is her assistant. This is Bruce Wayne. Oh, hello. Tell Regina I need to speak to her. I'll be there shortly. I'll let her know. Thank you. of the last few days but who knows how long that will last once word gets out our ceo brought known terrorists into the building regina speak of the devil we were just talking about you and your prospective clients bruce yeah i gathered that ma'am he's here in the Maybe home. there's an explanation. Why would he come back here if he's with them? You had to know it might come to this. Your connection to these felons, whatever it is, it could ruin the company. You have left me with no choice. <laughs> no.
Nice try, Regina. But we both know you're the guilty one in this room. What are you talking about? Care to explain this? You've been authorizing some interesting shipments. What is this? Automatic weapons? Grenades? <laughs> Bruce, truly, I never signed this. I've never even heard of this. <laughs> Bruce? <laughs> What's going on? Something funny. A priest, a rabbi, and a CEO walk into a boardroom. Priest says, it's a trap. The rabbi says, Joker tricked us. Call security. The CEO doesn't say anything. Because he's dead. <laughs> Did somebody call for backup? Brucey, if you care one iota for these suits, you'll stand down. I mean it. Get those hands where I can see them. Please, Harley, don't. Smart move. Nice work, Kent. You're really moving up the career ladder. What do you want? Thank you oh so very much for asking, Regina. What do you think I want, sweet cheeks? The serum is gone, Harley. It's over. Ain't over till it's over. I was inspired to think outside the box. Oh, here comes my inspiration now. I bring you... Joker! if they know what's good for them. <laughs> well, that was shocking! <laughs> you get it? <laughs> uh, Bruce, it's been too long. Just finishing up a grand tour of this delightful city. Visited some of our old haunts along the way. But this, Bruce, this has got to be my favorite. My and Pup always said I'd make it to the top one day. Dreams really do come true. Wayne Enterprises. I bet the benefits package is top notch. Does it cover accidental death and dismemberment? Nice costume, John. Joker, now! And this isn't a costume, Bruce. This is me. Unlike that thing you're wearing. You and I both know that's not your favorite suit. And now, for my first executive order! You remember that pesky virus, don't you, Bruce? We found a way to make more of it. A whole lot more. Wanna do the honest pudding? Oh, honey, you know me so well. <laughs> 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 no! I wanted us to be friends, Bruce, but you ruined it. And now we get to be enemies. <laughs> Don't! 
Oh, you thought Ruth Lou was bad? Penguin. Huh? Lady Arkham. None of them knew you like I do. I know just how to press those buttons. See that little but very powerful bomb right there, Gotham? We got a hundred more where that came from. Planted all around the city where you'll never find them. Except for the ones I'm setting off. Now. No! I sent your friendly neighborhood police force a list of demands. First and foremost, Batman's head on a pike in Gotham Square. He's the one who started. Oh, I love her. <laughs> 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 You got 24 hours to make good. So chop chop. <laughs> She's something else, isn't she? All those demands. I've only got one. Stop me, Bruce. Be my best enemy. Be the man I need you to be. I will destroy you! <laughs> so that's a yes! Oh, toughen up, little canary. Guess you fell off that ladder. Keep the masks on. No survivors. Too bad. You done catching up, Mr. J? Place is uh, starting to stink. We're done. For now. We are going to have so much fun. <laughs> Till next time, Brucey. Bruce! Bruce! I'm here. Oh, thank God. I saw the news. <sighs> Harley and Joker. In the wind, I'm afraid. Officers should reach you shortly. I don't have time for that. I'm headed to the lab. But are you all right? I have something that might lead me to Joker. Computer, on. Al, sit rep on the areas impacted by the bombs. I'm on it. Joker and Harley are using the attacks to cover their escape. The authorities have no leads on where they've gone. Harley said they planted bombs throughout the city. I got a piece of fabric off of John. Could give us an idea of where he's been. Let's see what we can learn from this thing.
Analysis, trace elements, anything recent. It's chaos, Bruce. Bringing up drone coverage on the blast sites now. The bombs have an explosive component in addition to the chemical payload. <sighs> Disperses the virus across a larger area. One of the bombs detonated on Gotham Bridge. The primary route out of the city. People, they succumbed to the virus as they were driving. Authorities have shut down the east side and peninsula bridges. For now, there is no way out of Gotham by car. There were multiple explosions along Mercy Street Station, with Gotham General Hospital at the center. They're estimating the death toll at... We have to stay calm, Al. Focus. They've closed off the docks. It seems they had to. No one is sure how long the fallout will take to dissipate. That cargo ship, was it... Operational? Unfortunately, yes. Everyone aboard was dead within seconds. At this rate, it seems as if nothing can stop them. Maybe. But Joker hasn't told Harley my identity. If he had, she would have taken my head off back there. Perhaps their partnership isn't as stable as they'd like us to believe. He's keeping secrets from her. At least for a time. If I can split them apart, it could at least buy us some time. And we can use that to our advantage. I suppose the question is, how? A number of foreign particles have been detected on the fabric. There appear to be traces of wine and wax. Pollen, too. It's a start. Joker said he visited some of our old haunts. It appears that he blames you for what he has become. If he hopes to defile the memories of your time together, it will be with more of these chemical bombs. So you want to cross-reference those locations with... With the elements found on the fabric, yes. Hmm, that could just work. It has to. Cafe, where John opened up to me. He wanted advice on Harley. Feels like so long ago now. Plants, flowers. This could be a match for the pollen sample. Cafe Trace doesn't have a liquor license. No wine here. Nothing here I'm looking for. John used to run therapy circles at the stack deck. Perhaps this is where he met his followers. There's plenty of wine here. Cleaning polish on the rag contains some wax, but that seems like a stretch. Location's not a good fit. We gotta move on. Divinity Church. John managed to track me here after he got out of Arkham. Lucius's funeral. Communion wine. Could be a match. Traces of pollen are coming from the flowers along the altar. Those candles look recently burned. Divinity. My God, he truly is a monster. People are afraid. They'll be looking for solace. The church will be full. Harley and Joker knew this when they planted the bomb. Al, contact the agency. Tell them where I'm headed. Right away. 
Stay alert. Gotham is in a state of panic. ago. Warning, what you are about to hear may be disturbing for some listeners. I sent you friendly neighborhood... Waller. Batman. Thank God. I wanted to talk to you about Harley's demands. Portraits of her and Joker painted on City Hall. The brain of Riddler's killer. And my personal favorite. All agency operatives must leave Gotham within the next 24 hours. Except for Amanda Waller will be shot out of a cannon at the stroke of midnight. You know these maniacs better than anyone. What's your take on this? Stall for time. Give in to some of their lighter demands. Keep them busy. I consider that possibility myself. Not sure if it'll work, but right now we have to take what we can get. I've got a lead on another bomb. They may have planted one in Divinity Church. I'll do what I can, but I'm stretched thin. Those clowns hit one of my transports, and there's unrest forming across the city because of their demands. Asking for us by name. It's designed to turn the city against us. Bomb goes all in place of worship. People might just throw us to the wolves to save themselves. I'm starting to wonder if there's a damn thing we can do about it. I'm still here, Waller. You're not alone in this. Together, we can save the city. That's nice to hear you say. I'm sending one of my agents to the church now. An EOD specialist will be close behind. Seems to me like both of us can use someone we can trust right about now. Good luck, Batman. Waller out. Our beloved Gotham is under siege. From all sides. It is here. Everyone out! <gasps> what the move? Get out of my way! Please, everyone, calm down. I said out. That includes you. That's one way to clear the place. Avesta. Batman. Waller sent me to assist. Agent Fox? I heard about this on the Agency channel. I know this church. I'd like you to meet our newest recruit. Batman? Special Agent Fox, ready to assist. Thank you, Agent Fox. We need all the help we can get. Bruce Wayne told me that you knew my father. Then you know what this place means to me. I've calibrated my drone to scan for traces of the virus. You can take the controls while I analyze the data. Gas masks. I'll make sure no one else tries to come inside. Let's get started. Sinking now. Not much trace. Unlikely the bomb is here. Scan the lectern. I'm picking up some traces. Not enough for a bomb. Here. Jackpot. If this goes off, it'll kill everyone in a five-block radius. 
Then you'll find a way to disarm it. If we could just see the internal components. Here goes. Looks in sync with the timer. I can see wires. Let's get a better look. Oh god. It's a trap. <laughs> we have to identify the wire for the timer. Cutting it should prevent the bomb from going off. Activating electromagnetic imaging. A fail safe. If I cut this wire, it'll activate the bomb. Found the timer. That's the one. It's safe. <sighs> Hold on. Getting some strange readings off the bomb. I'll do a more thorough analysis and let you know what I find. enemy. This is all just a game to him. All of the suffering and death, just for a laugh. Got something. The paint on the bomb, it's made of a unique solvent mixture. I cross-referenced it with the chemical manufacturers in Gotham. Got a few hits. Send the list to the agency. Done. GCPD officers are being sent to scout the locations. I better get back to it. There's a lot more data that needs analysis. So, till next time? Thank you, Agent Fox. We have a lead on potential locations. Oh, good. Iman. Destroying Riddler's blood. It was a terrible mistake. It escalated the situation on the bridge with Harley. Everything spiraled out of control into this. And now we have Joker. I see how I helped to create this monster. Now that I've seen the destruction firsthand... You can't feel guilty, Amon. But it turned out wrong. You did what you thought was right. A lot of people died today because of it. A lot more might die. Ma'am, backup is here. We have EOD on standby. What are your orders? I guess this is our opportunity to keep that from happening. Get EOD prepped for disposal. No one comes in here without my express consent. Batman. They say you should never meet your heroes. I'm pretty sure they're wrong. It's done, Waller. So I heard. Good work. I've got Gordon on the other line, says he has a lead. But he'll only talk to you. I trust you'll handle and report back. Patching you through. Jim. Batman, I've got a lead on Joker, a uh, solid one. I'm at Ace Chemicals. I need you to meet me. Uh, damn it, Batman. I can't do it. Can't do what? <laughs> You'll go to hell, you <laughs> son of a bitch! Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Gordon. Death! For you, new best friend. Isn't that right, Gordy? No, that nickname doesn't work. Uh, Jim, Jimmy! Jimmy here led you right to me. There was no way we could meet their demands. Joker offered me the bomb locations in exchange for you. I, I couldn't go through with it. Oh, don't beat yourself up, Jim Jim. I've got people to do that for you. <laughs> Besides, you were the perfect bait! I'm sorry, Batman. I shouldn't have even considered making a deal. <laughs> I understand, Jim. You did what you had to. Take the map and get out of here. Okay, you Jimbo. Run along and save Gotham! Jim! Just not too fast. I still have lots to do before my other half finds out I gave away the map. <laughs> Dump him in his car. <laughs> He'll bleed out. You need to get him to a hospital. <laughs> what hospital? We blew it up, remember? <laughs> You need to pay more attention. <laughs> that look! Right there! That's what I'm wanting to see. <laughs> you know, Dr. Newman used to say anger is often a response to feeling powerless. You think maybe 
That's why you're so mad. Because I'm on top. Because I have you completely in my power. Because the tables have turned. Enjoy it while it lasts, Joker. When it's over, it won't be pretty. Now, now, Batsy. Keep on like that and you'll be heading for a timeout. Jimmy's just the first, you know. I have plans for all your friends. Not all of them have to die. Just whatever hurts the worst. Like with Gordy, you two will spend the rest of your days knowing what you had is poisoned. Harley's gonna be upset, of course. She wanted the whole city to drink virus mimosas. Someone would have survived like Riddler, and she'd have gotten her serum. You think she'll forgive me when she finds out? About the map, I mean. But nothing less would get Chief of Mustache to flip. I just had to have your staunchest frenemy betray you. She'll kill you the minute she finds out. I know that. Deep down inside. You always said I had a self-destructive streak, Dr. Leland. Oh, yeah. Thing is, Harley's perfect the way she is. <laughs> and if she does get sick, I'll be there to take care of her. John. Oh, well, hasn't this just been illuminating? We laughed, we cried, it changed our lives. Just goes to show you can't trust anyone in Gotham, can you? But I know you'll keep my map secret. Because if you tell Harley, she'll just set the bombs off early, exploding Gordon's dreams of being a hero. And who wants that? John. It's Joker! <laughs> Sit! <laughs> Play dead! <laughs> Good boy! Go. If you press that button, one right there, you'll have the chance to go free, which will in turn trap Bruce forever. So I'm giving you three whole seconds. One, two, three! Congratulations! Selena. Bruce, it's... What a dramatic turn of events. Bruce witnessed your terrible, awful, just despicable betrayal. I hope it hurts. Now, you kids play nice. Unless you want to end up like the other losers. <laughs> I know it doesn't look good, but I wasn't just going to cut and run. I thought if I were free, I'd be able to do more to help. Or at least, go find some backup to get you out of here. That's the truth. You look a little dubious. You believe me, right? Of course I trust you. <sighs> Thanks. Quite a scenario we find ourselves in, huh? Are you just gonna sit in that cart, or are we getting out of here? Just give me a second to get free. Hmm. 
No way to pick the lock. Damn it. Oh, here we go. Are you... Oh, I hate having to do that. are electrified. It's too far to just reach my hand inside. The electricity cooked them alive. We gotta get out of here. useful. How did you end up here? The agency nabbed me. From Waller with love. The Sanctus Lab was so chaotic after the robbery. I let my guard down for one second and... call her. They threw me in a transport. Then the next thing I know, the trucks flipped on its side by an explosion. They took all of us. I'm the only one left. Can't escape until I get that key. Force won't work. Locked. Great. Now push the key to me. I'll unlock the door between us. It only unlocks from my side. She's telling the truth! But she can also take that key and get out, leaving you trapped. And unable to help the other dinner guests. Because you know she won't. What do you say, Bruce? You're going to trust a thief? All right, coming your way. You should know by now, Bruce. You can trust me. That's not how it's supposed to go! You two like each other so much, you can fry together! The electrical box. If you cut the wire connected to the floor... One of these agents tried that, but... along. 
to get there. You two sweethearts have to go through the tunnel of love. Bruce. Thanks. Take it slow. What's that phrase? I'd walk a mile over broken glass. Well, eight feet should be a piece of cake. What could be more romantic than pulling shards from each other's kneecaps? It's okay. I'm okay. This'll do the job. Riddler. Lucius Fox. Martha Wayne. Thomas Wayne. John Doe. What is this? There's such a thing as pacing, Bruce! Get back to digging! Dig up the truth. Underneath. See some familiar faces, Bruce. There's Thomas Wayne, your dear departed criminal dad. Joe Chill, you two met in Crime Alley that one time, remember? Bruce Wayne, that cat. And Batman, of course. Nothing happens in Gotham without him skulking around. This is a good old-fashioned whodunit. These are your suspects. The victims, as usual, are all around you. All you gotta do is put the right face on the right grave, Bruce. I'll allow room for some interpretation, but not much. <sighs> Lucius. Batman would have 
been more accurate, but I guess you can separate the man from the other man in combat spandex. Hard to separate Lucia's Fox from the linoleum in Wayne Tower now, too. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Correct! I guess your dad being gunned down in front of you is something you don't forget, huh? I guess he's claiming to know who killed Riddler. Probably him. Bruce, you have to know better than this. You're just pulling every string, aren't you? Yes! The way name takes another victim. His shady dealings got a loved one killed. Will history repeat itself tonight? <laughs> What's he trying to say? John Doe is dead. There's only Joker now. Not entirely right, but not wrong either. It was Bruce that killed the poor little Doe. John just wanted to make his best friend happy. He gave his heart willingly, only to have it ripped from his chest. Still beating and spraying blood everywhere. What a mess. I hope you're happy with yourself. Are there any left? No, we placed them all. <laughs> what the hell? Someone's in there. I can't get it open. I'll find something else. Tiffany! I couldn't breathe. I've been in there for hours. How did you end up in there? And are you hurt? I'm okay. I'm okay now. I was heading back to the precinct, and someone hit me from behind. I ended up here. What is it? The final sticker. It looks like... That's you. So what? Joker thinks you killed Riddler. I... Uh, I... I'm not sure why. It's just... Hey. You can tell me. Joker's right. I killed Riddler. You killed Riddler. I... He deserved what he got. And who are you? Riddler's friend. Selena! I came to this town to avenge you. Bruce! Riddler killed her father, Selena. This is Lucius Fox's daughter. Tiffany. Whatever will you do, Bruce? You're gonna have to turn Tiffany in because of your precious code. Turn it to your old friend Gordon of the GCPD. Wait! You got him fired! Don't wait, he's not your friend anymore. He betrayed.
betrayed you. <laughs> God, what a mess you've made. Dinner is about to be served. The final guest awaits. Bruce. When this is over, we're gonna talk, right? Let's just concentrate on surviving this. <laughs> Welcome! Finally! So glad you could join us! <laughs> it's got a head explosion set in two! So play along! Nice. People never take the time to eat a meal together these days. And since you care about these folks, well, as much as you care about anyone. Sounds good. Always love dinner parties. You might not love this one when we're done. I know it's impolite to start without all guests present, but Bruce, you gotta try this. Open up! Come on. Go on. Put your lips on it. <sighs> Rude! Bruce! <sighs> we don't play with our food! Thanks, Puddin. You're so good to me. Alfred! He came as soon as he heard you and Tiffany would be here. You assured me no one would get hurt. Ah, uh, no. I said that people would get hurt if you didn't come. Not the same. You brought scones! Uh, stay clear of that one. Came out a bit charred. Well, luckily, Master Bruce has never been picky. They look good, don't they? Want one? Wow! This thing is ri Sure. Thanks. Um, the one in the middle. But that one's burnt. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I just love hitting you. Since the guests are all here, I want to show them the main course. That's a great idea. <gasps> I'll have my pick of all of Gotham soon. So I'm kinda hoping the survivor ain't one of you. Doesn't that look good? Old family recipe. So, Joker, how does it feel to uh, lie right to her face? Uh, uh, uh. That's not polite dinner conversation, Bruce. Do you really want Harley killing the whole town before we eat? <sighs> that might ruin your appetite. And Gordon, well, he won't even have a stomach left. So just play along, like I taught you. <clears throat> Don't worry, dear. Puddin, I think it's time. No! I mean, 
not yet. We wanted to play with them a little longer, right? Uh, right. A game. Three rounds, one for each of Bruce's friends. Let's get to know just how awful each of you truly is. Think of it as your last confession. Raise a hand, or lose it. That's right! Fingers up! Alfred's going to get this party started. Read it. <clears throat> Never have I ever lied to a friend. Now, the way that this works is if you have lied to a friend, finger goes down. I know. Your dad's a crime lord. It's really tough to tell a tween. Your turn. Pretty simple rules. And now, if you've lowered a finger, I get to do something terrible to you. Not you, of course. <laughs> Never have I ever used a friend. All of it. Manipulated them just to get what I want. I never meant to hurt you, John. I don't care what you meant! And anyway, I'm much better off now. Finger down! Not you, Puddin. You do you, hun. I got the cats. Thanks, babe. Bruce! Next up, Tiffany. Never have I ever. You know what? I'm not doing this. Don't test us, lab rat. Test you? If I didn't have a gun to my head, I'd kill you just like I killed Riddler. Tiffany. And it'd be a whole lot easier. Because unlike you two, Riddler was smart. What did you say? I think the gal who fell into our trap just called us dumb. <laughs> Maybe we hit her too hard on the head. Or maybe not hard enough. If there wasn't a point zero zero one percent chance that you might survive the virus, I'd kill you right now! Read. Never have I ever killed a person in cold blood. Oh. Didn't know the Girl Scout had it in her, did ya? Finger down, Brucey. You murdered John Doe. And it was as cold-blooded as you can get. John's not dead. I know he's in there somewhere. <laughs> you love that, you! Because, John, you could twist around with all your words, and he'd believe you, but not me! Hun, he don't matter. Not anymore. You see what he does? Man, I really dodged a bullet, didn't I? You're a freaking mess. Look at these people you surround yourself with. Liars, thieves, murderers. And you think you're too good for me? I am so glad we're not friends. Puddin, I'm done waiting.
You got what you wanted, right? Yeah, I did. Let him die a little sooner than the rest of the city. Goodbye, Bruce. Gotham is safe. Joker gave Gordon a map of the bombs. The GCPD will have defused them by now. <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that? All Joker cared about was revenge, so he made a deal. The map in exchange for me. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I totally crippled the guy. No way they'll get to all the bombs in time. Probably. Probably? You really did this? We'll have another this chance. This is my life we're talking about. You chose him over me? How could you? You know I need that serum. Wait. I'm gonna kill you. Babe! I am so glad we're not friends. Puddin, I'm done waiting. You got what you wanted, right? Yeah, I did. Let him die a little sooner than the rest of the city. Gotham is safe. Joker gave Gordon a map of the bombs. The GCPD will have defused them by now. <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that? All Joker cared about was revenge, so he made a deal. The map in exchange for me. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I totally crippled the guy. No way they'll get to all the bombs in time. Probably. Probably? You really did this? We'll have another this chance. This is my life we're talking about. You chose him over me? How could you? You know I need that serum. I'm gonna kill you. Babe! I'm going to kill all of you. Killing pot. See how we go through it. That's a problem. What should Tell I... the GCPD where we are. I can't let these two escape. You got it. I should have killed you the moment I met you. Then let's give it to him. You couple! No! 
that be cuter? With their brains bashed in. stays put. Call me when we can do something a little less lethal. This ain't over until I see it's over. <laughs> <laughs> the shadow within your shadow. The tumor lurking in your soul. <laughs> You're wrong, John. You're no one. Just another nameless lowlife that I've got to put down. Every life has value, even yours. Reciting from the old code again, Bruce? You cling to it like a security blanket, hoping if you just hold on, you'll never fall into the darkness. <laughs> Remember that night, 
shrinking frappes under the stars. You dishing out advice about the ladies. Me finding out you were the bat. It was perfect. <sighs> you know, some part of me always knew. Someone like you? You'd never really be friends with someone like me. But I wanted to believe it so badly. <laughs> we had some good times. Didn't we, Bruce? It wasn't all bad. Yeah, sure. Some of it was fun. <laughs> I hope you'll look at that scar and remember those good times. You can sure take some punishment, Wayne. I'll give you that. Dish it out, too. I'm pulling my people out of Gotham effective immediately. I want you to know we're square. Your secret is safe with me. After everything you've done, it's only right. <sighs> Thank you. If the wrong people found out who I am... That's not going to happen. At least not because of me. Anything else we need to discuss? Or is this goodbye? What about Jem? Joker hurt him pretty bad. They're saying he might not walk again, at least not without a cane. He saved thousands of lives with that map. Trading you like that? He's clearly been taking lessons from the agency. I'm inclined to give him a medal. Maybe his old title too, if he wants it. A tough old dog like him. He's good for a junkyard like Gotham. Jim deserves the highest honor. Like always, he put his duty first. It can't have been easy for him. Anyone else you're concerned about? And Avesta? Is she going with you? Poor Iman. You really got inside her head, didn't you? I know it was her that destroyed Riddler's blood. She's gonna have to answer for that. I need to be able to trust the people who work for me. Let her come work for me. I'll find her a job at Wayne Enterprises. Is that what she wants? She should at least know it's an option. Okay, then. I'll mention it. She's pretty fond of Gotham. God knows why. And of you. You know, she loves that steak place on Clinton Street. Maybe you should take her some time. So, what else? Catwoman. I thought she'd be pretty high on your list. You two certainly have been close. I've got a collar on her for now. But seeing how she put herself on the line against Joker, maybe I'd be willing to take it off. As a token of my goodwill. Catwoman has a... sordid past. Past? <laughs> I'd say present, with decent odds on future, too. I'll keep a lid on that, but give her a fresh start. Clear her record. What record? I'll see you around. It's always possible, Bruce. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll be over the moon if I never have to come back to this wasteland. All teams accounted for, ma'am. Airlift is en route. Thank you, Agent. I'll be right there. Agent Fox reported in. She's heading to evac point B. Make sure she gets there. Word is Tiffany Fox cop to Riddler's murder. That young woman showed a lot of promise on my team. Personally, I'd turn a blind eye. But I know how you feel about lethal force. I can bring her in if you want. 
lay a charge on her. Unless that's something you'd rather take care of yourself. Tiffany and I go way back. I'd rather deal with her myself. You'll want to catch her before the airlift leaves. <clears throat> take care of yourself, Bruce Wayne. Batman. Going somewhere. Director Waller's leaving Gotham. I'm going with her. What's it to you? I don't condone killing. Not even criminals like Riddler. So you heard about that. News travels fast. Riddler had it coming. That maniac stole my father from me. From you too, right? What do you mean? I know you worked with my dad. Bruce Wayne told me. I saw the lab at Wayne Enterprises. Did you care about my father at all? Or did you just use him to make your tech? Of course I cared about him. Lucius was my friend. Then you know why I did it. Prison walls couldn't stop Riddler. He showed that when he escaped Peña Dura. Taking him out was the only way to make sure he didn't do more harm. Leave more families without fathers. In the case of maniacs like him, the ends justify any means. It was the right thing to do. We have to hold ourselves to a higher standard. We start murdering criminals, and we're no better than they are. We'll have to agree to disagree. It's been nice talking, but my ride is waiting. This isn't over. You will answer for Riddler's death. When you have evidence that'll stand up in court, give me a call. Tiffany. What is it? Watch your back out there. Especially with Waller. She only gives a damn about you if she thinks you can be useful. I've got nothing to worry about then. I'm good at what I do. But thanks for the advice. I'll keep it in mind. Alfred, Tiffany's gone. Ah. I'm coming back to the manor. Uh, good. There was something I wanted to talk to you about. Something important? Better in person, I think. Then I'll see you soon. I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. You can't leave me, Alfred. I know things have been hard, but they'll get Bruce, better. please, don't try and stop me. My decision is already made. Your protestations, well, they won't make things any easier. But why? 
This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. Come on, Alfred. You know I can't do what I do, what we do, without your help. Well, maybe you don't have to do it at all. Our mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore, at least not to me. Now everything has become so grey. <laughs> grey? Talk to me, Alfred. We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Someone clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. I'll admit that wasn't our finest moment, but at the time it seemed like our best course of action. Precisely my point. Our best judgment is no longer good enough. You led John Doe to believe you were his friend. Turning on him when he killed those agents, that pushed him to become Joker. What's your point? Sometimes, it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. I'm not blind to the damage I cause, nor am I to the chaos that swirls in Gotham. But I have to believe the good outweighs the bad. I thought you did too. Not anymore. Anyone who comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. She's Waller's creature now, driven to her by our secrets. Another casualty of our mission. She was on Joker's guest list because of her relationship to you. Selina, too. It's a miracle any of us survived that ghastly dinner, but Joker certainly made his point. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. You think I want that? We can fix the problem, Al, but not if we run from it. Unless we are the problem. Leaving this all behind might be the only solution. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. <laughs> well, that's great news, Al. They stopped the minute I made the decision to go. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them, some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. The tremors, the fainting spells, all of it. Alfred, I'm... I'm so sorry. I've caused you so much pain. No, no, please, don't misunderstand me. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Just like you. Not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Okay, maybe I am more like my father than I want to admit, but our paths are different. Can't you see? The paths may diverge, but they end in the same place. Face down in an alley, shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you, too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself, along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I've been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I've failed you, and for that I'm sorry. You did the best you could, Al. In a single night, the family was shattered, and you were left to pick up the pieces. I may have picked them up, but I did a poor job sticking them back together. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport.
You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. Alfred, wait. Would you stay if I promised things would be different? Is that a promise you can keep? Like you said, there are a lot of ways to help. I'm sure the city could use a man of my talent and resources. Are you sure about this? I'll do whatever it takes to keep our family together, Al. Even this. So please. Tell me you'll stay. Well, maybe just one more night. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. Thunderbolt? I'm the whole goddamn hurricane! Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me and I can't stand it! I weighed my options and what can I say? I don't like to lose. I won't let you down. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? If a man hides in plain sight for that long, let him forget who he really is. <laughs> We're two threads in the same stitch, bound together, even under strain.
had so much fun, Joker. I just couldn't stay away. I knew you wouldn't be able to, Bruce. Let's get you ready. Ha, 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 ha.